yo, what is good YouTube? Magdubs here, back with another video, guys, and we have some more highlights, some footage, some news, some notes, some observations about the Philadelphia Eagles OTA period, some things that you guys need to know going into week three of the OTAs for the Philadelphia Eagles. However, before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a major favor. I need you guys to smash that like button, get the video up to 600 likes. It seems like every time we post a Philadelphia Eagles video, you guys go crazy. So let's see if you guys can do it here again in this video. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, join the family. I will be covering the entirety of the NFL offseason, which includes the rest of free agency, mini camp, OTAs, training camp, preseason, regular season, Whatever it may be, I got you guys covered. So join the family, turn on post notifications so you're notified every time we post a video. But without any further ado, let's get into the news and the notes and observations that you guys need to know going forward. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the Philadelphia Eagles starting middle linebacker. Now, a lot of you guys probably could guess who it is. But it is Nicobe Dean is already coming in here and being the starting Mike linebacker. And the newly acquired um, Nicholas Morrow coming over from the Chicago Bears is already lining up as a starting uh, will linebacker on this defense going forward. Which is something, you know, amazing to see. I'm excited to see this new linebacker core come out here in 2023 and just see how they can, you know, do how they can improve with each other now when you look at the linebacking core right now you got nicholas morrow you got nicobe dean and you got hassan reddick those are your top three guys and those guys look insanely good now behind those guys you still got some guys who can come in here and make a name for themselves especially in first round pick nolan smith and then behind him you got you know christian ellis sean bradley david's uh davion taylor uh, Patrick Johnson so with that being said the linebacker core actually looks pretty good with some potential to get even better in 2023 and you know many years to come with especially with Nolan Smith but another guy I want to bring up here and another observation that was made at OTAs was a guy Cam Jurgens. Cam Jurgens is um, you know a guard who looked like he was taking a bunch of first team snaps he's a second year player battling for that job against rookie Tyler Steen um, but it looks like Jurgens is giving or uh, getting a ton of, you know, opportunity and a ton of chances to actually win this job going forward for the Philadelphia Eagles. So it's going to be interesting to see which one of those guys actually comes out on top and wins the job. You obviously got, um, you know, Landon Dickerson, Jason Kelsey. You got uh, Tyler Steen, Lane Johnson, Cam Jurgens, a bunch of these guys fighting for a starting job on this team in 2023. We'll see which one of them can, uh, you know, win the race now another guy i want to uh talk about here is um the safeties actually not one guy but two guys the starting safeties in you know the opening start of otas is reed blakenship and terrell edmonds now listen i don't know if these are going to be your week one starters but right now it seems to be they want to move forward with these guys going forward but also you got to keep in mind sydney brown a rookie was with the second team and he could also start to turn some heads here he's young he's developing and as he you know gets some you know his feet underneath him i think he could absolutely you know make a run for a starting job on this team maybe not this season but next year he's definitely a player i see could uh you know break out for the philadelphia eagles going forward very versatile uh safety can play multiple different positions um can impact the game in multiple different uh, ways as well so Sidney Brown third round pick this year uh, might not be a starter this year but look for him to uh, you know continue to build on what he's done in OTA so far now another thing I want to note is the starting running backs for this team in camp will will surprise you uh, Kenny Gainwell and Boston Scott have taken the majority of the first team reps for the Philadelphia Eagles but not something that you should read too much into um, listen Rashad Penny and DeAndre Swift are brand new to the team. Uh, it's expected that, you know, DeAndre Swift will be the starter of this team come week one. This is just, um, you know, precautionary. They want to make sure that Swift and Rashad Penny earn their way to the top of the lineup as well as they're starting to learn the playbook, starting to learn the scheme. Well, guys like Kenny Gainwell and Boston Scott have been here, have done that, have been in the system, and uh, know what it takes to be a solid running back with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, like I said, don't take take it with a grain of salt. I, I do believe DeAndre Swift will be a guy who is starting in the NFL for the Philadelphia Eagles next season. Now, 
Um, I also want to talk about a third-year cornerback, Zach McPherson. Now, he got some run with the first team at nickel. But keep in mind, Avante Maddox is not practicing yet. He's still out with his injury. But uh, McPherson is primed to be at least the number one backup option for the Philadelphia Eagles at nickel back when Avante Maddox is back. But for now, it looks like McPherson could have a lot more opportunity to uh, you know make a name for himself at this slot cornerback role. Another guy I want to talk about, Quez Watkins, man. He was with the first team on Thursday, started off practice with a nice catch over the middle of the field from Jalen Hurts. Uh, Quez Watkins, a guy who's really trying to uh, solidify that role as a number three wide receiver on this team. Um, because the Eagles did sign a wide receiver from Atlanta. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, but Olamide, Olamide uh, Zacchaeus. I don't know if I said his name right. Correct me in the comment section down below. But Quez Watkins is trying to fight for that number three job. And right now, it looks like he has it in his grasp. But I'm not sure if he'll be able to maintain it. Now, uh, we'll see what happens with that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here for the Philadelphia Eagles and something that stood out to a bunch of reporters and people on the team are two linebackers that are really starting to show their potential on this team. Now, one of the guys is second-year linebacker Kyron Johnson um, or Karan Johnson. He worked a lot on some off-ball linebacker in the OTA so far, but he's another guy who's really trying to take a, a step up here. Um, let's see. Kyron Johnson is a guy who... Currently is a six-round pick back in 2022, so he's actually making a really big name for himself right now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he fights his way up this depth chart and potentially earns himself maybe in a, you know, a backup job, maybe a third-string job, but he's trying to definitely make the team here in 2023. And one more guy that looked good was um, Christian Ellis, man, made the defensive play of the day according to some reporters. Um, I think he got an interception on Marcus Mariota. Now, he's played in seven games over the last two years with the Eagles, but mostly on special teams. Now, linebacker, they don't have a ton of depth, but Christian Ellis is a guy who pretty much has that backup role almost locked up at this point if he, continue, if he can continue to make plays here on the defensive side of the ball. Now, guys, real quick, that's all I have for you guys today, but I will be keeping you guys updated with everything you need to know for the rest of the offseason so do me a favor smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new join the family i will be covering the rest of the uh you know entirety of the offseason so join the family turn on post notifications i'll see you guys in the next video but before we head out of here make sure you comment down below who are you most excited to see throughout the first couple of weeks of preseason regular season whether it's a rookie a second year player a veteran who are you most excited to see on this Philadelphia Eagles team in 2023? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Pro Class, the absolute best place for you to take your game to the highest level. It's the first of its kind sports training and development platform where you can reach your highest potential by learning from some of the best athletes on the entire planet. Some of these guys include Damian Lillard, De'Aaron Fox, Allen Iverson, DeMar DeRozan, and so many more. And I have some great news for you guys. If you guys go use my code, MADDYDUBS, you'll get 50% off hundreds of training videos, workouts, and drills. And you can get in the lab right now. So go check it out. Go steal some of the secrets from some of the top players in the world right now. And if you are interested in developing your skills at any level, if you play in middle school, high school, college, or if your goal is just be a better athlete, a better basketball player, this is where you need to go. Nobody else does this. Go check them out and you can learn, develop your skills at a fast level you know pace high speed level click the link in the description for instant access to all of the secrets in the world and remember using code maddie dubs will get you 50 percent off right now so don't miss out on this offer